Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to another episode of. I just cannot stop smiling since I got this. AKA, I finally got my dream camera, the Pentax 672. Oh my god, it is heavy! Oh my god! I just got this camera about a month ago for my birthday. I have been saving up for it for quite a long time, so I'm very excited. This is my Pentax 67. If you have been watching my video, I talked about wanting this camera for a long time, and I finally pulled the trigger. Guys, look at there are three models of the 6.7 format. You have the original 6x7, and then the 6.7, and then the 6.72. I bought the latest 6.72 version with the 105 2.4 lens. Since I consider myself portrait photographer, I'm doing mostly portrait, this lens is a no-brainer for me. Wow. <sighs> I still can't believe it's here and it's mine now. This is gonna be a basic how-to and first impression video. I will show you step-by-step -step how to use this camera from loading it to unload it. If you are already familiar with the camera, you can skip this part using the timestamp as usual. And then I will show you the first couple of rolls I shot with this camera and we will discuss what I like and dislike about it. I don't know if there's anything I dislike about it. And I felt like I said the exact same thing when I made the first Hustle Blood video. <laughs> Is there anything I don't like about this? <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Now let's take a look of the camera. Before I got this camera, I have been using the Pentax 645N2 for a long time. So to me, this is a pretty smooth transition. Without reading the user's manual or watching any tutorial video, I was able to just pick it up and start shooting like that. Now I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to use this camera as if this is your first media format camera. Again, if you just want to see the sample photo, you can use the timestamp here to jump forward. Unlike its first generation, the Pentax 672 is an electronic camera. It takes two CR123A batteries. The battery compartment is located at the right bottom of the camera. After putting the battery in, let's load up a roll of film. On the left side of the back cover, slide this pin down and then the cover will spring open. The film should sit on the left side and the empty take-up spool on the right. Unfold the crank at the bottom, turn the knob and pull it out. Then push the film and the spool in the retainer. Make sure they both properly catching on the knob. And then you turn the crank back on and lock both spools in and then pull the film back paper from left to right. Make sure the black side is always facing towards the lens, so it will get exposed when the shutter curtain opens. Stick the end of the paper into the take-up spool, and then turn the winding lever. Make sure the film paper is properly catching on the spool. Then just keep turning the wind lever until you see the arrow coming up on the back paper and aligns with the triangle mark on the camera body. On the back, you see there is a 120 and a 220 option. You can look the back of the camera and make sure you choose the right format. Now let's turn the camera on. On the LCD screen, you will see the number 120. That's your film type. And then keep turning the wind lever until you see the frame number one shows up. And you're good to go. Oh, before you go, <laughs> don't forget to set your ISO. While pressing the ISO button next to the viewfinder window, move this lever up and down to change the ISO until the LCD screen shows the correct ISO number. And then after that, everything is pretty self-explanatory. 
on the top of the camera, you have your shutter speed dial, you have A for aperture priority, AE mode, X for flash syncing speed, and B for bulb for shooting long exposure. The highest shutter speed on this camera goes up to 1 1 thousandth of a second. And next, you set your aperture by turning the aperture ring on the lens. The lens I have on this camera right now is the 105 2.4 lens, which is pretty rare for medium format camera. Next to the shutter speed dial, you have your three metering mode. You have spot metering, center weighted, and multi-segment metering. And on the other side, you have the exposure compensation dial. And then you have this big winding lever to advance the film. There is also a multi-exposure lever next to the wind lever that you can shoot double or multiple exposure photos. On both sides of the viewfinder, you have a viewfinder lock that you can switch out this top viewfinder. There are actually four types of viewfinder you can use on this body. I have the AE viewfinder. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna change it to other viewfinders, but you have options. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a mirror lockup button right here, and we also have a self timer mode. To be honest, I haven't really used much of these function on the camera yet besides just the basic manual shooting mode. We'll talk about the AE mode and the multi exposure mode in the future when we get to it. Now let's take a look at the inside of the viewfinder. When I first saw it, I was surprised by how big and how bright it is. And because how big the mirror is, I sometimes feel like I can't see the full frame, especially the very bottom of it. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing glasses. Anyway, at the very bottom of the screen, you can see your shutter speed, your metering mode, and the frame counter. Half press the shutter button, you will see the light meter indicator light up. And then you can adjust your settings according to the readout of the internal light meter gives you. Pretty easy peasy, right? With 120 film, 67 format will give you 10 shots. I know, that's not a whole lot of shots. After the 10 shots are done, on the LCD screen, you will see the word film with an arrow and a blinking dash. And now just keep winding the film until the word end appears on the screen. You will also feel it. You will feel the winder becomes really light after the whole roll is rolled up. It says end. It says end. So I think I'm okay to open this now. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Hi. Ah! And then you can open the back, take the film out. And ta-da, it's done. Now you can send your film to the lab or start developing yourself. All right, now let's take a look of the photos. As usual, I went to Santa Monica Pier to shoot the test rows. I like going to Santa Monica because there are a lot of color, a lot of people, and I've shot there with other cameras. I can compare the photos for learning purpose. It was a nice and sunny afternoon. I got there about 4 p.m. Excuse me, sir. Can I take a picture of you? Your look fits the umbrella and the scene so well here. Do you mind like sit down here? Yeah, just like that. This is the first photo I took. When I saw the scan, I was like, wow. <laughs> if you're watching this video on your phone, it may not look that wowing. I was looking at it on my 27 inch monitor. The amount of detail, the color, the fall off, I was amazed.
And what also wowed me is the size of the camera. It's pretty big. It's definitely difficult to be sneaky about it. I feel like when people who walk past by me, they would like take a second look of the camera. <laughs> Then I saw this guy on the swing. His name is Stetson. I like his red hat, his beard, and his striped polo shirt. Kind of remind me of fun character from a Peter Pan movie somehow. I took the first shot when he was in the midair. I watched him swinging higher and higher, and then I just waited until he slows down and finally stopped. Then I asked. If I could take a photo of him. I took some similar shot from the pier looking down to the beach before with my Canon 1V. Without even putting them side by side, I can see the differences. Not just in sharpness, the 6.7 shot is not only sharper, more clear, but you can feel the spatial differences. You can feel the depths. I don't know if that makes sense at all. Excuse me. Can I take a picture of you two? You two look really cute together. Yeah. Yeah. How cute? How cute? Very cute. <laughs> I said you two look really cute together, and he was like, "How cute!" I was like, "Really cute." She's gonna be my girlfriend, he said. <laughs> She's a bit shy, but I think they two look really cute together. I really like this shot. It was. Pretty busy and loud on the pier that day, but this photo somehow just quiets everything down. It's funny how some of these photos can turn out exactly like how I see it in my head before I press the shutter. I might mess up. The color a bit when I develop the film, I might miss the critical focus, but the character, the space, the depths, the texture of the photo can turn out almost exactly the same with how I see the photo before I took it. This is a very strange feeling. I don't know if it's because. I'm just getting more and more familiar with the equivalent of 50 millimeter focal lens, or maybe a lot of photo I like from other photographers were shot with this camera, and I'm just very familiar with the look this camera produces. For the first time, I think what I see in my mind mostly matched. Was how the photo turned out. I feel like I am stuck playing with the needle, like King Arthur pulled out the sword in the stone. Well, more like guts finding the dragon slayer. I mean, if you judge by the size of it. I feel like this is my camera. The sun was setting. I saw this girl standing there, just looking at the ocean. Her hair red as fire. She was just quietly watching the sunset. You probably can't see from this photo, but her palm is also red. She clearly dyed her hair by herself very recently, if not just before she came to the pier. I wanted to walk up to her and ask if I could take a proper portrait of her, but I ended up didn't bother her. 
All right, it is getting late and getting dark, getting kind of cold. I'm wrapping it up. I'm gonna walk back to the parking lot. At this point, I'm losing light very fast, so I decided to wrap it up. It was fun. It was heavy. It was huge. This camera is very difficult to juggle between this camera and this camera. So, uh, so yeah, my arm is getting really tired. On the way back to the car, I saw this couple sitting on the beach with this really cute yellow umbrella. This was shot at very low shutter speed. Wasn't crystal clear, but I still really like the vibe. almost 40 uh, we gotta go get gas first the next morning I went right back out to Santa Monica Pier again try to shoot sunrise but by the time I got to the pier the Sun was already up um, the Sun it's already up looks like Ooh, good morning Santa Monica Looks like we won't be using Cinestill 800T. It's already bright enough. I'm gonna shoot Porsche. I don't even know if I'm in frame. Is it right? Oh, oh, it shows film one. Ta da! I think we're good and ready to go. Hi! Do you mind if I take a picture of you? I think the scene looks really beautiful here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh -huh. And are you? Is this your car? This is mine, yeah. Yeah, I think I think you like standing by your car looks really nice right now. The light was really nice at this point. I really like how the first photo turned out. <laughs> oh, can I take one more? Let me just take one more. The close-up shot missed focus a bit. With the 6.7 format, when I opened up the aperture all the way to 2.4, the depth of fill is very, very shallow. And unlike the Pentax 645 N2 I've been using, this is a manual focus camera. I just gotta be more careful with where my focus point is of course yes i can wait <laughs> then i met this couple they were sitting on the bench looking at the sunrise i asked if i could take a portrait of them the lady said she wanted to finish putting her makeup on asked if i could wait so i waited while waiting we chatted for a little they have been together for 15 years, he told me. They just came to the pier to see sunrise. Alright, let me just... Uh, yeah, this is great. There is something I really like about this photo. He was looking at the sunrise, she slightly looked down, the vibrant orange vest he's wearing, the spoon and the coffee cup in the sand, and the empty beach in the background, it almost look staged. Christina? Anthony? Sam? 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me take your pictures. Thank you. I'll let you guys enjoy the sunrise. I mean, it is in some way staged these portraits I took, especially in early morning.、Uh, there are not a whole lot of people around. I feel like I have more time to frame each shot, and since it's early morning, it's much more quiet, and it's. Much easier to have a conversation with people, and I feel like morning people are more likely in a good mood to chat. I'd assume. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good morning. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? One dollar, one picture, one dollar. One dollar. Yes. I don't have cash right now. No. Okay. Credit card. <laughs> 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 credit card.、Uh, you, you credit、can. card. Sorry, what's your?、Uh, as for any、uh, magazine or what?、Uh, I'm a portrait photographer. I'm just going around Los Angeles, taking pictures of people and、from. trying to、uh, build、okay. a body of work. Do this. Yeah. You know, his face is. <laughs> <laughs> I think this looks really nice, like you fishing here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even though I like how sharp and clean the first shot looks, it feels a bit rushed. So I took another one. I think the second one looks much natural. Can I have you like get closer to like stand this way a little more? Yeah, yeah, just like that. I love that. But maybe I should have kept. The vertical frame and frame more of his legs in, and leave a little less headroom. It will look more balanced, I think. Glad to meet you. Thank you、okay. for letting me take your photo.、Okay. Thank you. Hi, morning. Excuse me.、Yes. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Go ahead. Awesome. Great. Actually, do you mind, like? Just stand here and then look at me. Hey,、like, can you move this way just a little bit? Come forward a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Seventy-five cents every photo. Huh? Seventy-five cents for a photo. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Seventy-five cents for every photo. Seventy-five. There's a white gentleman over there. He's charging me one dollar. When I saw him, he was cleaning the wire fence. I asked if I could take a photo of him. He said, "Sure, well, continue cleaning." I tried to capture him in action, but I couldn't find the shot. So I asked if he could stop for a second. Then I said, "Can we also move the ladder in as well? Can you put your arm on the ladder?" After the first shot, I felt the pose looks a bit odd, so I asked if he could put both of his arms on the ladder. One more.、Oh, no. Do you mind like turning your body this way a little bit and then put both of your arm? Yeah. Oh, no, oh I love that. Right, that's more money. <laughs> that's two dollars now. now. Oh my God, the price is going up real quick.、Yeah. One. Two, three. I love it. Sorry, I didn't ask your name. Joey. Joey. Give me the fist. Sam.、Okay, Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for letting me taking the picture. No problem. Thank you. You have a nice day.、Okay. Now this looks much more balanced to me. He's very friendly. He was smiling. You can see the city of Santa Monica logo on his shirt. You can see the small details of the yellow paint, looking nice with. The yellow ladder. In the perfect world, I'd probably add a bounce board to the left side so we would have more catch light in his eyes. But I mean, this is just me walking around, having a two-minute interaction with the strangers on the street. So,、uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Hello. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? Me? Yeah. I think the color and the background here looks really nice. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Do you mind just go back where you were at? You were like just leaning on this. 
just casually. Walk. Yeah, yeah. And then if you don't mind, like just look back to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. Okay, you as well. God Thank bless. you. So many birds. I often feel like the 50mm focal lens is designed for portrait. When I'm taking scenery photos, I feel like I'm taking a portrait of the building, the bench, and the street light, and the lifeguard tower. It's just not wide enough to call any of this landscape. And to me, this is a portrait of a morning sunlight. Yep, I'm just crazy like that. <laughs> and this shot looks beautiful from far away, right? But for some reason, I just couldn't help myself wanting to get closer and closer. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me take a... Uh, I think you can look at me. What I'm doing is definitely not street photography, it's portraiture. Often I want them to look at the camera, uh, so I'm taking a very intentional, very posed photograph of a person, and I feel this camera is great for this type of shot. I also feel like holding such a huge camera like this somewhat gives me more courage to direct people a bit more. I'm a serious photographer. I must carry myself as a serious photographer. I keep saying this to myself now when I'm holding such a dramatic camera. Besides, with the 6.7 format, you only have 10 shots. So you really, really need to make it count. <laughs> There are a lot of surfers there doing their morning surfing. I wanted to take a photo of one of them. So I waited for one surfer for a good half an hour. I was just standing on the beach and just like staring at them. <laughs> but it doesn't look like he's ever gonna come up. And then I waited for another one. Um, then they left way too fast. I couldn't keep up with them. Um, then I waited for another one. No, nobody is coming to shore. Oh, look like, is this gentleman coming up? Nope, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe he is. I'll ask if he come up, I'll ask if I can take a picture of him. picture of you awesome do you mind just stand right here oh that's great these two shots are not bad but they were actually way overexposed i was too excited when i finally catch one surfer leaving and i misread the exposure oh well next time i know just calm down sam calm down <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, you have a nice day. I'm gonna start walking back. The sun started to come up. It's a lot harsh right now. The waiting is 
The waiting is worth it. <laughs> The sun is getting hot. I was walking back to the car, then I saw these two lifeguard trucks. It was a very nice looking scene, I think. I asked if I could take a photo of them, and they said, just be quick, because they're leaving. Then I stepped back, I started to adjust my camera, but I'm still not fast enough. They have to go. Um, then I missed the shot, but one person, one person stayed, so I walk up to him. Do you mind if I take a picture of you though? <laughs> Thank you. Do you mind if I take one more? Yeah, look at look at the camera, please, if you can. I took two shots, and I think the second one ended up being one of my favorite shots of these two photo walk session. Thank you so much. Right, thank, you. thank you. You have a nice day. And this is it. That's all the photos. As the first couple of rows I shot with this camera, I'm actually very happy with the results. When I first saw the scan, I really liked them. By the time I'm actually recording this video, it's been three weeks. And now I'm looking at the photos, I'm still very much like them. This don't happen all the time with all my photos, so. Oh, hot. The downside would be there's nobody around. All right, now let's talk about what I like and the dislike about this camera. Despite the short amount of time I've used it, there are a lot of things I like about it. First of all, the viewfinder is so big and it's incredibly bright. Before I got this camera, I was kind of concerned about the shallow depth of field on a 6.7 format, especially with a lens that opens to 2.4, but for how big and how bright this viewfinder is, I actually find focusing pretty smooth. I mean, I don't nail focus 100% of the time, but I have to say out of all of the menu focus camera I've used so far, this is definitely the most easy one. The Pentax 67 being the latest version, the design of this camera is very modern and very well thought out. If you've been using any SLR camera, no matter if it's film or digital, you can get this camera going quite easily. I shot all of the photos you've seen earlier with the internal light meter. I think it's pretty accurate and reliable. And for how big and bulky this is, it's actually very easy to hold it with or without the grip. The weight distribution is actually quite even. I can tell you, every single person I know who has this camera has warned me how heavy this is. I actually think it's not that bad. If you compare it to some of the digital camera and the lens I work with, <laughs> the weight doesn't bother me. It's really just the size of it. I'm not used to and also since the mirror inside of it it's so much bigger every time you take a shot it's like bada <laughs> it makes it handheld with lower shutter speed even more difficult <laughs> if I have to say there's the one thing I dislike about this camera is the camera strap so the hook it's on one side so you can only hang it vertically every time i pick it up to take a photo like this or like this the strap is in a way it's kind of awkward but if i don't put the strap on or just hold it like this i kind of feel insecure so yeah <laughs> And last of all, there's one thing I really wish this camera has, which is also what I like about my Pentax 645N2, is the imprint camera setting data. 
I really like the function with my 645. When I get a scan, I can look the photo, I can look my settings and figure out what I did right or wrong. It's really nice, especially when you're still learning. But sadly, the 672 doesn't have this function. I guess it's time to start carrying a notepad around. <laughs> Back to the time when I just got my first hustle blood, I talked about how the shooting experience make me feel like I'm photographing something important and how the hustle blood makes me see the beauty of the mechanical design of a camera, the waist level viewfinder, the unique winding crank, the nice sounding shutter, etc. makes the Hasselblad a fun and a cool camera to shoot with. At some point, I feel like I want to play with the camera more than I want to make photographs with it. But now I have this camera, I feel like the Pentax 672 just drags me all the way back of using a camera as a tool. I mean, it's still beautifully designed. It's still fun to shoot with. Maybe because I've been shooting with SLR for so long, this camera just makes so much sense to me. It's just so natural to me when I'm shooting with it. I don't feel the camera. I don't think about the camera. What's in my viewfinder and what comes out of this camera becomes the most important thing again. When I pick up the hustle blood, I said a good camera will inspire you and make you want to go out and take more photos. And now I feel like the right camera will make you forget about the camera and just see things that's in front of you. And for that reason, I think the Pentax 672 was my dream camera and now it's my right camera. <sighs> I still can't believe it's here and it's mine now. All right, this is it for this week's video. What is your dream camera and have you found the right camera for yourself yet? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this long video. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be shooting more with this big boy if you want to see more videos about this camera or other camera, please consider subscribe my channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the photos, of the video, of my English, of anything. I always appreciate any kind of feedback. This is Sam, I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, camera's so far away from me.